This is a message from Gabriel to help us stay on our higher purpose. Okay, so I see this like train track going up this mountain. Um, the tracks are kind of wide and spread apart and the wooden boards in between are all kind of broken up, disheveled. And I also saw like a plane, um, a um, like some fighter airplane <clears throat> here too, kind of pointed upward towards the mountain. What next, Gabriel? Okay, so the wolf is coming in here. The wolf looks like it's, it looks like it's being, it's, what is this? It looks like it's, its head's hanging low, like a dog that's kind of done something um, wrong or something, or it's kind of like, oops, uh, I am sorry or something. Okay, now I see um, a, a bird up in the sky and it looks pretty spectacular because it's <clears throat> it's got its wings all the way open it's flying underneath the sun so that the silhouette of the bird just like it looks magnificent from there, underneath and i'm also seeing um <clears throat> a lion for briefly and but more strongly there's a mountain lion here I'm looking at this mountain lion. The mountain lion's like clawing at the bird in the sky. Okay, Gabriel, what what next here? I see this strange vehicle in the distance. Okay, so Let's 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 hold on here and see what we've gotten. So we've asked for um, a message to help us stay on purpose, and um, we've reached a point here where, in this journey, it's like, okay, where are we going? So let's go back to our initial purpose uh, intention here <clears throat> and explore some of the symbols. So, <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> train tracks, they relate to um, being on track, right? So, so being on track. So that's definitely feels like a connection there. Um, them being, them aimed up the mountain, but being kind of um, broken and, and, and too wide for a train to go up. Um, what what could that could be symbolic of? Um, the incline too steep, maybe trying to go too too quickly up a mountain. Like if this was a mountain here and we were going to make a train, it's not going to go directly up to the top. It's gonna it's gonna wind around, right? So <clears throat> th these are all symbols here. So okay, so. We've, there's a track here, but um, um, it's going a little bit too sharply uphill. It's um, the tracks are a little bit too wide apart. So what could that that maybe just playing with intuition here? Maybe that means that we need to narrow our focus a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so simplify, narrow our focus. Um, take a less steep course. Um, and then the the wooden the wooden the wooden things are supporting the train, the train track to the wooden cross sections. Um, I feel like those hold the tracks together at an equal distance and they also kind of ground the the tracks and connect it to the earth. And I feel like what the guidance here has to do with is uh, steps, uh, taking one step at a time. It's like the rungs 
on the ladder, okay? Doesn't a train track look like a ladder, right? <clears throat> Which is also a little bit similar to a staircase. So it's like taking, you know, it's like one one step at a, one, one rung at a time, one step at a time is kind of a similar uh, guidance to stay on track. Uh, so <clears throat> it feels like even in that initial picture, there's three things there. There's um, taking one step at a time um, and narrowing your focus and not going directly for uh, too high of a goal too fast. So, okay, so even analyzing that first symbol, it feels like there's a lot of guidance there. <clears throat> but let's explore the other things that, that came up here and see how they're connected. Okay, so going backwards. <laughs> um, going backwards, what else do we have there? Um, what was after that? There is the bird in the sky, but before that there was a wolf. So the wolf that might be representative of um, maybe doing things a little bit, breaking breaking rules a little bit, or it's like the wolf is just like going after what it wants. Um, because it doesn't want to like follow the rules. Um, so maybe the wolf has been like uh, just predatorial a little bit in that sense of just going for what it wants and disregarding its, its effect on others stuff. And now it's coming back like a dog, like, okay, I'm like under your wing again, like I'm gonna listen to you. Uh, you're you're the teacher, <laughs> you know. It's like okay, that didn't work out. Now I'm seeking some help. So I will admit that plays out in my own life of like uh, me me becoming a little bit like the wolf, like in the negative sense in the past few days, and now it's like I'm and now it's like I'm okay, like that didn't work out. Now we need to kind of um, be a little more structured and, and listen to guidance that uh, we were just kind of ignoring to get what we wanted. Okay, so then the symbol of the bird. Um, what I felt when I when I said that was that there's like a, a triumphant feeling of the bird in the sky. Um, it's in the sunlight, it's, it's, it's spread out its wings. So it feels like, what is that? It feels like it's, 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 it's celebrating a movement back towards um, higher wisdom, um, high, like the, you know, birds high in the sky has <laughs> one association there, but, um, Yeah, this is interesting. It could be birds have to do with communication, also angels themselves. So maybe there's like a triumphant feeling of being able to communicate the message or being able to be in tune with the message, um, which is a little bit what I'm doing here. I'm communicating and I'm communicating wisdom. Um, but that's not the end of the story, <laughs> I think, is what's going on here. The lion uh, symbolizes um, a, a positive sense of pride. There's a pride, um, at least in my association here, of um, this is a positive um, feeling of like, Ride in who I am and what I'm doing, and a, in a communal way too, at least how it represents to me. Now the mountain lion. This is interesting where this went. 
because here's a, it seems like there was a progression and we had the bird that was, you know, triumphant. And now there's a mountain lion here, which is, it's, it's kind of dominating the scene and it attacked the bird. It's like taking charge of the scene. So what does this have to do, Gabriel? Let's, let's explore some associations with the mountain lion. So there's definitely a connection with the lion itself. Um, there's a connection with the mountain. So um, one thing that comes to mind is mountain lions are kind of kings of the mountain. Um, and I say that because uh, just from watching uh, nature shows, um, mountain lions kind of have territory, but their territory isn't like, you know, the lion in, where is it, uh, Africa? Where do lions live? Africa or Australia? Like, wait a second. Um, anyways, uh, anyways, the mountain lion uh, kind of its territory is more in the mountain region. So, so what is this doing that's coming in here? Um, it's a cat, and it's the cat symbol as well. It feels like a feminine. There's more of a feminine influence in this energy. Okay. I feel like what I feel like part of this is going to be a little mystery, a little bit mystery right now. Like we don't, I don't know exactly why this is coming in here, but it's one of these things where I can reflect back on this and go like, oh, okay, so this is what was the, why that came through. Um, my intuition tells me that it's like, sometimes you overcome one thing, you might figure out like uh, how to, you, you figured out how to accommodate for the tracks being misplaced and you place them in the right way. And you've got the, the wolf in line. So the wolf's not running amok on its own um, and causing problems. And you've got the wisdom, um, but that doesn't mean there's not gonna be another challenge that comes up. So <laughs> I think that this is um, alluding to um, the next challenge that's coming through. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much all I can um, explore at the moment. Um, so time will tell uh, in reflection um, more about uh, the meaning of the mountain lion and also stuff in this journey. That's the beautiful thing about doing these journeys is that uh, it's like a communication, it's a practice, and there's different symbols that come through and do my, self, do my best to receive and translate the message. Um, but there's always more in the patterns that can be understood and revealed. And over time, the patterns kind of reveal more, more depth, more meaning. Um, I could potentially even look back on this series of uh, symbols and like say tomorrow or the next day, have a completely different perspective on these symbols or a deeper perspective and, and be like, whoa, oh, okay. So that's what Gabriel is trying to tell me. And that's totally okay. Like I, it's, it's beautiful to do the practice and, um, and more of these understandings come as we go. So thank you so much, Gabriel. Thank you for everybody for watching uh, me do these journeys. Um, uh, if you would like to see more of these, uh, we got a lot more coming. So 
uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and join along these uh, awesome journeys with me. Okay, thank you.